everyone. Just wanted to talk to you guys now about like in regards to the, you know, game two, game three analysis regarding for like with the Golden State and obviously with the Raptors in the finals. What, what are your intakes or like what do you guys see from like a loss from game two to now a really good, you know, win in game three? Like tell me something about that. What, what do you guys feel about that? Like what are your thoughts on it? Uh, game two was, it was, it was different. Uh, this is the first time I since college for Stephen Curry to see someone play box one. Actually, back in Davidson, they used to do box one, actually try and go two. Well, they double team Curry. But this is the first time I saw them did that defense. And in NBA, you don't play zone. You can play zone any, everywhere until college. In NBA, because you know how to break it. Everyone's a shooter. Everyone can slash. But it was something different. That's the thing about Nick Nurse. He likes to try something different all the time. And that was at, like that's like every series. I owe my respect to Nurse. It gets higher and higher. And the Marcus Cousins had a good game. He had like what, 10, 15 points, something like that. Yeah. So that's what I noticed. And what do you guys? What do you think? Uh, yeah. In my opinion, you know, um, it could have been three zero easily. Yeah. Uh, it just so happens, you know, um, I'm not gonna say the refs. But um, <laughs> they, they sort of helped, um, you know, Golden State kind of stay mm -hmm. um, in the game. Um, a lot of, you know, foul trouble within, um, you know, the Raptors, you know, um, star players. And um, that's what kept Golden State in the game. Raptors were about to, you know, lead by 10. But um, just before the half ended, we were just up by five. So yeah. next thing you know, uh, by the third quarter, you know, they came in storming. And the Raptors, you know, uh, basically they couldn't score for some reason. Yeah. And um, um, they just came back, you know, uh, late fourth quarter, which is too late. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said, uh, they did a box in four, which, um, you know, kind of stopped, you know, Curry from, you know, penetrating or yeah. scoring. Uh, but then Igudal got open. And then, yeah. unfortunately, uh, you know, he made the shot. Uh, if he didn't make that shot, then it's either we, we, we would have been able to, to tie it or... You guys almost got the steal, too. Right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We would have been able to tie it or, you know, it would have been um, uh, overtime, basically. So yeah. uh, uh, now game three, um, a different, um, you know, different aspect where uh, we dominated from the start. And... Uh, 36 points in the first quarter. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, really that's amazing. Yeah. And uh, one thing too is, you know, uh, Golden State they they have so many injuries, and yeah, yeah. Uh, good thing uh, Raptors took advantage of that, and everybody everybody was you know um, being able to do what you know they're supposed to. Danny Green, Kawhi, yeah. um, you know, Larry, uh, basically all our uh, starters. You know, they did what they're supposed to do, which is you know, uh, take advantage and, uh, you know, finish off Golden State in game three. Yeah, I mean, we were 17 for 38 for threes, uh, for threes right? So yeah. I think that was really amazing on our end for that. I mean, yeah, the Warriors were able to, you know, close us off interiorly, but we, we, can be, we were able to finish that off from the outside too, which is really good. Um, I think, you know, Gasol defensively, he did really well. I think we had the full usage when it came to, you know, Clay being out, Katie being out, Looney being out too. I mean... DeMarcus Cousins had a terrible, yeah, terrible, game. terrible game and everything too. Um, I mm -hmm. mean, I think um, from before, like it's like I've like I've listened to this podcast before. It's just like um, with combo guards too. They were saying mm -hmm. that like game two, um, we made DeMarcus Cousins look good. Yeah. Whereas for like with game three, like this is how he's playing right now, right? Yeah. Because they've I've noticed that like when he practices, they give him the space. Whereas right now for us defensively, we're you know, we're pushing him, yeah. we're giving him that pressure. So, you know, it got him into some foul tr trouble, um, you know, some limitations and everything yeah. too. So, yeah. Yeah, Cousins can't play D. No, he, he can't. Straight. Like, the He's game a big guy three too. was so bad. It was like, he can't move laterally. So every time um, Marcus Hall goes somewhere or do the screen, mm -hmm. or he can't, he can't hedge up. That's the problem about him. And uh, it's just crazy. And for them, they don't have no depth, right? And they put McKinney on Kawhi. It was barbecue chicken, though. <laughs> I, I, I am dead serious. And I was like, wow. Like, what is Steve Kerr? Like, Sean Livingston can play D for Kawhi. Like, that's the best thing. Because remember, Livingston played against DeMar. Like, yeah. remember Nets against um, his Raptors? Sean Livingston was guarding DeMar the whole game. So it's, I was like, what is Steve Kerr doing? And then 
Bogut was doing good again, rather than Cousins. But I feel like it's so easy to attack on Bogut though, compared yeah. to like most. Like if you put like let's say Danny Green, yeah, for like that's really hard to put yeah. some pressure on that guy too. But Cousins is like on something else when it comes to defense, and then he's yeah. just throwing the ball up every time he's like he's trying to do a layup or something. I just felt like with Game Three, it was yeah. like oh, it was at a weaker standpoint when it came to like yeah. defensively. I mean, yeah. Trepko had a really. Negative game too, <laughs> you know that was really. They mm, have no depth at all. There is no depth at all. Like I feel like we they lose depth in the perimeter as well because you know throughout game three you know Curry was the engine of the game right so like. Yeah. And now like now I'm like thinking about it now it's just like we're looking at memes and everything from like, 2019 now for the finals like 2015 in the finals right yeah. now so like I've seen memes where like LeBron's playing the violin and everything yeah. in regards <laughs> to it so like, in comparison between you know. The finals with Cleveland and mm -hmm. Golden State, and like up to now, like what do you guys see, or like what are the differences in that when, like within those finals now? The thing about 2015, when it comes to LeBron, like injuries had, and everything too. He had too. bench. Mm -hmm. He had like Deladova to start. He still have Iman Shumpert. He still had J.R. Smith. He has still have Moscow. He still have like Tristan Thompson, and he has James Johnson sometimes come in, even though he was a bench player. But with even Channing Frye, wasn't he in there yeah, too? Yeah, Channing Frye too. He was too, good too. He had his days too. And then. 2019, you have like Clay. The, you have Clay. KD. Yeah, KD. Four players. Lo and Looney. So and yeah. Looney, yeah. So KD, Clay, Looney. Looney. And then Audrey Iguodala can be on yeah, and off too because yeah. so he's like five taking players, a little bit. Man. And you can't say the Marcus Cousins is still an all star player after <laughs> seeing his. Like, like, he's basically out the whole season. Yeah, okay, five million contract. Yeah. <laughs> five million dollar contract, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, with Raptors and you can't have you can't have injuries against Raptors. Raptors is straight up like good in the bench. Yeah, I mean even Fred Van Fleet game yeah. three had a really good game too. Yeah. And like compared to you know with Cleveland, it was just Kyrie and yeah. like Kevin Love, like yeah. you know Kyrie with a busted kneecap, you know yeah. Kevin Love with a like injured shoulder and everything. That it what didn't really they didn't really take a loss on it, but yeah. I just felt like you know they're still able to, you know, yeah. utilize some way, like yeah. what you said before too, right? LeBron yeah. had, was able to utilize his team. And he's an all-around player compared yeah. to Steph Curry. Well, I don't, I can't yeah. say about that, about him right now. Yeah. Maybe because he is getting older and maybe he has yeah. other, you know, things to worry about now, yeah. I guess. But I just feel like we're not getting yeah. the same LeBron. Exactly. Yeah, what do you think? Unless people, <laughs> I know people will slash at me for that, for yeah. saying this, but that's just the way I've seen it so far. Um. Well, yeah, my perspective, uh, I'd say, Hmm. Yeah, Le yeah. LeBron's team was so much different. Uh, like you guys mentioned, um, this Warriors team is, you know, they have more star players. You know, they're more complete. It's just so unfortunate that, you know, they, they had injuries uh, during the, the series. But um, if those injuries didn't happen, then basically the only guy they're missing is, is Durant, which he never was in that series anyway. Uh, when he, they were facing uh, LeBron's, you know, uh, Cavs, you know, um, and, and one thing too is, uh, you know, Warriors had home court advantage during that during that time. This time, this is the first time they they didn't yeah. have uh, home court advantage. And besides, um, you know, playing playing in um, Scotiabank Arena is is really hard because mm -hmm. uh, you know the fans um, uh, they're there um, to support the Raptors. You know, uh, from start to bottom of the in, of the game. Um, and you see Warriors, you know, Warriors fans, they, they leave early. Oh, they left. Yeah, yeah they during the early. third. <laughs> yeah. Probably so, like this Smith time like, now. ripped on us for, like, going up to the concession stand. But, well, hey, we didn't leave. Like, yeah. Yeah, at yeah. least we stayed till the end, but, like, yeah. still. You could really see the support from, from Raptors fans. And, um, I mean, back on topic. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the huge difference where Golden State team was... Um, they have more star players, and Cleveland was basically just LeBron by himself, you know. He carried them to two wins, and um, like everybody was saying, if he had Kyrie and Kevin Love uh, during that series, they would have won, like what happened the following year. The following year, he had both guys, and they beat them, you know, fairly, well, not fairly easy, but, yeah. you know, they came back 3-1 and, you know, got the first out for Cleveland.